everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel black cat tarot so today we're doing a reading of your week ahead predictions what's going to happen this upcoming week so we have power one with this like unicorn charm or not unicorn sorry um a carousel horse charm here i don't know why i thought unicorn um for pile two we have this sabrina the teenage witch pin and for pile three, we have this little gold ring with a red stone in it. So take as much time as you need, pause the video, meditate, whatever it is to pick which pile feels right. And we'll be starting with pile one. Hey, pile one, if you chose this carousel horse charm, and this is your reading, I'll go ahead and put it to the side here. We'll start with some tarot cards. What can you expect this upcoming week? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I like seeing them. That's really nice. Compile and expect this upcoming week. Piles one's week ahead. Pile one's week ahead. Temperance. Week ahead. Whoa. Strength and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely getting a message already for this. I'm going to go ahead and get some Moonology cards. You and your loved ones are safe, and confidence is the key to your success. Okay. Actually, I'll put them over here. Let's get you guys a green witch oracle card. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, guys. That's so cool. Wait, that, I love when this happens. So, you guys got the Strength Tarot card and the Strength Oracle card from the Green Witch Oracle. That's so cool. Okay. Um, let's get a Wisdom of the Oracle card. That's too many. week ahead. Okay, I'll take the one that is showing itself on top. Okay, well, let's do some self-care. Self-care for your week ahead. Aromatherapy. Okay. Oh, finally, let's get some tea leaf cards. I love these oracle cards. December. Older man. And bag. Okay, and the cool thing about these two oracle cards is... They landed on top of the Ace of Pentacles. So this is going to give you sort of a insight into what this opportunity is with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, so I'm seeing this upcoming week or your week ahead that you may be presented with an opportunity such as a raise or a new job that could pop up. Perhaps um, it is offered by someone older in your life or just an older man in general. Um, and that's really what this Eight of Pentacles is going to be. And perhaps I'm getting with this December card, maybe this is resulting from something you did December of last year where you sort of planted the seeds unknowingly for this opportunity to happen with this Ace of Pentacles. Or you could also be seeing a lot of the fruits of this opportunity in December this year, which isn't too far away. It's four months from now. And I see this as a really great opportunity for you to take. I think there's just a lot of anxiety over it. Um, I feel like you're not so sure if you can handle the requirements or the load of this opportunity, which I think has to do with work, something you're passionate about in regards to making money. But, you know, I'm really seeing here with this strength card from the Green Witch Oracle in here, you're being told that you are strong enough to handle this load. You can do it. Because usually with the Ten of Wands, I see it as, oh, you're caring too much. You need to set it down. But for this, I'm seeing it as, this is what you're thinking things are going to be like. And it's causing this sort of fear for you to take this opportunity. But I'm seeing you're being told that you are capable and strong enough to handle whatever tasks that are presented to you or whatever obstacles are presented to you. You know, if this is something you really want, don't let fear get in your way of getting it. And another thing that I'm seeing in regards to this, because, you know, we have the line there, you know, confidence is the key to your success. Be, be confident in your own abilities to handle whatever comes to you. There's this saying, and it's, um, it's let future you deal with future problems, okay? Trust that future you will do that because you are strong enough to do it. You you have the wit and mental capability to problem solve. It's going to be fine. You know, be confident. Take this opportunity. You are strong enough to, you know, go through with it. And, you know, you won't disappoint other people. I also see you and your loved ones are safe. So maybe something to do with this opportunity being presented this coming week. Um, taking it maybe is partly your risk, if that makes sense. Maybe for a little bit you'll be, the income you'll be earning will be kind of, not shaky, but uncertain. I'm also saying that if you, I feel like you've just been having a lot of anxiety lately. And I think this is also just a message of you and your loved ones are safe. You guys are safe. Everything's okay. Just you and your loved ones are safe. And I think one thing to help with this anxiety and bring about this peace in this coming week is, well, one, aromatherapy and your self-care card. Maybe that's something that could be really helpful smelling scents from your childhood, stuff that makes, like, it's nostalgic or calming scents, such as lavender. Lavender is very good for calming. But you're being asked to just bring in balance. That's going to help this week with your um, anxiety and uncertainty. And it's going to help with your confidence, you know. You see here she's doing yoga and there's cupcakes and a martini but then there's also like carrots and some water and it's sort of just and then there's a screen and a book so it's really just asking you to balance aspects of your life here you know it's okay to have a sweet treat but also you know make sure you're feeding your body good things that it needs to function and be healthy and I think finding balance throughout your daily routine this week and what you put in your body the exercise you do balancing screen time and just quiet time. I think it's going to help you um, attain more peace this week, which I think is really important because 
this opportunity coming in, I believe, is going to um, sort of shake up your world in a good way, but it's going to be nerve-wracking because it's new and it's exciting and you don't know what's going to happen and I see that you're worried if you can do it and you know you're being told that you can do it you should go for it just take a breath in and out do some aromatherapy and balance your life and know that you're strong enough have confidence to handle this opportunity so I'm going to read from the green witch oracle for the strength card because they have um little spells in here too if that is something you're interested in doing so the oracle meanings are you will find greater strength and positive grounding energy coming forth and even an invitation to undertake a new life path these pentacles a new life path friendships are highlighted by fennel and you may find you're spending additional time with those you align closely with situations in which sharing is high on the agenda will occur and you are being prompted to share or teach what you know be careful not to work too hard or to become unnecessarily reclusive. Okay, so that could be one thing. I'm not getting it so much with this Ten of Wands, but like I said, the Ten of Wands is often to do with working too hard. And another thing that just popped in now, maybe with fear of this opportunity failing, you are throwing everything you have at it. And with what this just said, maybe you don't need to do that. <laughs> maybe... You know, be careful not to work too hard in that, if that is something you are doing. I'm getting two different things there. Either you're worried about that you are good enough to even take on this opportunity, or you have taken it on, but you're so worried about failing that you're just throwing everything you got into it, which is a good thing to a certain extent. If you're ignoring the people in your life and you're burning yourself out, that's not good. So the strength spell is, if you need more strength, try this candle spell. Slice a whole fennel bulb on the top and bottom until you have a structure with a flat top you can safely stand on a surface. Tightly tie red string or ribbon around the fennel bulb three times. Set a wide red candle upon the fennel, surround with four agate crystals, one at each compass point, and light the candle. Let it burn as you ask for strength, then put out the flame. So that's nice. Um, let's quickly read from the Wisdom of the Oracle for the Peace card over there. Let's see. Okay, peace. Essential meanings. Freedom from all attachment, radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. I'm getting a lot that radical acceptance is also just... You know, you can do the best you can, but sometimes there are certain outcomes or, you know, life will throw certain things at you and you just don't have control over that happening. You have control over your reaction to it. And I think one thing that will help a lot with any anxiety you're having is just realizing, like I said, future you will deal with future problems, but also you can't do a lot about it. You can only you know, work on how you react and how you feel and just go with the flow. Okay, Powell One, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I did. It was very interesting and exciting. Um, I hope the anxiety isn't too bad for you and remember to be confident because that's the key to success. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey pal too, if you chose this Sabrina the Teenage Witch pen, and this is your reading, we're going to go ahead and put these to the side, and we'll start off with some tarot cards. Pal two's week ahead. Oh, ten of Wands. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this card is like jumping at me. Hierophant or Hierophant, however you say that. I've heard it both ways. How to week ahead? The King of Swords. Okay. I'm seeing something. I'm just gonna rotate it in a way that makes sense to me. Okay. 
get you guys some Renology cards. Okay, I'm going to take that one, the very top one. Let's get you guys a Greenwich Oracle card. Vitality. Okay. Let's get a Wisdom of the Oracle card. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to take the top one. Okay, messages are very much coming in. Let's get you guys a self care oracle. Whoa. That's a lot. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> so pile um pile one also got the ten of wands as well as aromatherapy for their self care, so I guess aromatherapy is the thing this coming week for self care. Get you guys some tea leaf cards. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Cup. Oh. Bread. Well. And these ones fell, but I'm not going to take them. Because they wasn't being called to. Okay, guys. So, pile two, I see this week, this upcoming week, you're in an energy where you're sort of at a fork in the road. You're deciding something about where you want to go in your life. And it's not a small thing. It's a pretty big, you know, choice, so to say. And I see that you're pretty stressed and confused about this choice. It could be where you want to go to school? Do you want to continue going to school? Do you want to move to this place to pursue this job? Do you want to, you know, be in a committed relationship? Do you want to change the religion that you've been in? Something, there's something that's just, you could be moving abroad. And I see, you you realize you have this sort of freedom and you can do and make any choice that you want. And as a result, I think you're kind of you're kind of lost with this sort of freedom to choose. You don't know where to go and there's this fork in the road. And I think it's weighing on you with this ten of wands. You're you're thinking too much about this situation. You're stressing out too much. I think you're trying to do everything on your own in regards to this choice and the truth is I don't think you know, you should. I think you're being asked, with this cup, it says you should accept valid criticism. What I'm getting from that is, I think you should um, find someone to talk to about this choice to help give you some wisdom and guidance. Someone who's been in this situation and gone through it. I'm really seeing that with the Hierophant here and the King of Swords. The King of Swords can have a lot to do with um, seeking out a counselor or someone um, legal advice, something of that sort. That's really the kind of person the King of Swords can be. The Hierophant, I'm, I'm seeing this as like a teacher in your, in your sense. You need to, or it would be a good idea for you to, look for someone who is very, has a lot of wisdom and is very knowledgeable on life and what you are trying to choose. And they may say some things and they may be more practical and logical than what you are used to. You may be more of a sort of whimsical person who has, you know, these thoughts, well, I don't want to, I don't want to have to spend all that money on school. I just want, you know, it's a, it's a scam how much they, you know, 
how much books and classes cost and I I agree with you in that regard but it's just how it is here in the US if that is where you live um so I think when this person if you go to seek them out you know they're gonna say some things that maybe you don't like the sound of entirely but it's more so just practical advice um and I think you should keep an open mind with it you know obviously if they say something and really in your gut you're like "Mm, no then listen to that but I feel like they may just be saying something that will be a hard a hard truth to you of how life is in a practical sense and it's not going to be like oh no you can't achieve this it's just going to be like you can't achieve it with the way you're doing it you need to have a plan and you need to take steps for that plan you can't daydream about it all the time you need to manifest and daydream to get an idea of what you want but then you have to start working towards it in the physical world um and i feel like maybe the reason that you maybe haven't started taking these steps you've just been stressing out over it is because i think you're afraid of the choice to make what if you make the wrong choice something of that sort and this card it's like nothing is yet set in stone i don't think there's any bad choice in this situation there's no wrong choice i think it's just what do you want in your life and that can be scary because there's a lot of freedom in that but um you know nothing is yet set in stone and even if you do take a certain direction And you later decide, no, this isn't for me. You can probably change that, you know? So, you know, I think you just need to take some of this heavy Ten of Wands weight off and share it with a person who can help guide you on the steps you need to take and how to make a decision. And I see here with the bread and the well, I think with doing this, this person will help lead you to a period of prosperity and abundance, but also in general this week, despite your stress about this choice, it could just be a really nice period of abundance with your family, with family wishes coming true. Maybe you'll be spending time with your family this week and there'll be good news like, oh, I got this job or I got a raise or whatever situation. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of um, eating together as a family, celebrating together as a family by sharing a meal. And that could definitely be something you are experiencing this week. So I'm going to go ahead and read from the Wisdom of the Oracle booklet for the fourth on the road. Let's see. Did I go past it? Nope. Perfect. Okay. The essential meanings are time to make a decision, considering the consequences as you prepare to act, Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. The Oracle's message is, every choice has a consequence. You've you've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well-worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroad. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you'll have a rich and meaningful experience. Yeah, so, and I think it's also great that, like they say, um, it's your choice alone. Like, don't let other people make it for you. And I definitely think with this person, um, another thing just came in. This could also be someone in your life who um, perhaps has an idea of what they want you to do and that is perhaps stressing on you because you don't want to do that. If that is the case for you, you know, know that this is your choice alone. It's your life. You do what you want to do. And in regards to um, the message I was saying before where maybe you should seek out someone to help um, give you guidance on what to choose, just remember that ultimately... The choice is completely up to you. This person will not be making the decision for you, which in a way may feel easier because then it takes the responsibility and stress off of you. But, you know, it's your life. And as a result, you're responsible for yourself. And I think they will, that may be something they say to you is, I can't make this decision for you. I can give you guidance, but it is your life. Okay, let's read 
Vitality. Looks like much more cool. Okay, the oracle meanings are figs will show you that you can and should look at what you have and what is going on with new eyes. Every single day gives us all the chance of a fresh beginning, but you will need to jump up and work for it. New life experiences are on offer and clarity will shine upon opportunities as well. Someone may be about to being someone may be about to bring trouble to your sphere, so make sure you protect yourself. So there could be a little message in there for you guys. I can also see with um, the new beginnings and looking at things with new eyes and new life experiences, definitely think that's what this whole choice is, is new life experiences and just choosing where you want to go. But just remember, you know, if people, if you're in the situation where people are pressuring you to take a certain life path, I know it's hard because people can be really nasty about it if they try and control you, but I think you should let set down these brooms in that regard and know that it's your life and you get to choose whichever way you go and it's scary to have to take responsibility for yourself but that's also an exciting thing and nothing is yet set in stone so keep that as a sort of comfort you know even even if you do make a choice and you know as a result ultimately the outcomes will be the outcomes that they are you can always change it later on if you're like you know what i don't want to be on this path anymore and change it you know and something that may help with this stress relief this week is aromatherapy just like Powell and maybe find lavender lavender is really great for relaxation the scent of it so maybe that's something you could do okay pal too I enjoyed this reading I hope you guys did too thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time bye Hey pal 3, if you chose this little gold ring with the red stone in it, then this is your reading. You can go ahead and move these to the side and we'll start off with some tarot cards. Pile 3's week ahead. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that exploded out of the deck. Pile 3's week ahead. Pile three's week ahead. The King of Cups. That flew out as well. Okay, I'm... It's interesting. It seems like every group so far out of the three, they all have a similar theme sort of going on at the moment. Like, Pile 2 had the Chariot as well. I'm going to rearrange these in a way that um, makes sense. Okay. Let me get you guys a Moonology card. <laughs> That's way too many. Pile three's week ahead. Oh, a fiery climax approaches and expect powerful change. That's pretty cool. So I see you guys this week. There's, I'm gonna put these to the side because I don't have any room up there. There's, um, something is sort of coming to there's a climax sort of coming. Something's something's changing. And I, I could see that, but it may be starting this week or you could be going through it this week. Okay, grounding. Let's get you guys a wisdom of the oracle card. Yes. All three. It's a lot. Oh. Um, Okay, we'll take Imagine. Oh, and I want to put this one actually up here. Let's get a self-care card for you guys. Ow. Let's 
see here. Pathways week ahead. Self care. Connect with Earth. I'm so okay. I was half expecting aromatherapy to jump out because the first two piles both had aromatherapy for their self care. So let's get you guys a tea leaf card. Oh, cool. Pile three is a week ahead. Pile three is a week ahead. Flag. Okay, so for the tea leaf cards, you guys have the moon, which says changes in your life. The month of February. And the flag, which says do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay. So I'm seeing that either in the past or this coming week, um, you were sort of presented with a really nice opportunity. <laughs> it seems like everyone's experiencing that as of late. You've been, you were like shown an opportunity and I think in regards to the past, maybe you took advice from this King of Cups, a sort of older, very grounded, emotionally mature man in your life who helped you um, sort out the situation, or the opportunity could be in regards to um, a romantic relationship with this person, if that resonates. And if this was a sort of past decision and change, I see that the opportunity now, um, it's calling for you to leave your current situation behind to, you know, really go after it. So that is one way it could be happening. Now, if you are currently being faced with this decision at the moment, um, this coming week, I definitely see that you should maybe um, seek out a king of cups type person in your life, an emotionally mature, calm person to help you figure things out, help ground you. Because I definitely think this is an opportunity that would be really nice and exciting for you. But you're being called to leave um, stuff behind in order to go after it. And, but I feel like this is going to be a good thing. And it's, it's something exciting. I'm getting a lot of movement with every single pile this reading so far. I'm getting a lot of movement. I wonder how many people are really shaking up things in their life and or moving, like physically. So I see there's a lot of um, change happening this coming week for you guys in regards to this opportunity, which I think you've already seen and evaluated. You're just now having to make the adjustments this week to um, really go after it, which I think has to, a lot to do with changing things and moving things behind. So perhaps you can expect a fiery climax and you know powerful changes coming week and I don't think I don't see this as a bad thing I don't see it as like arguments and stress I see it more as just excitement really exciting invigorating energy and because I know some people are quite um, intimidated or uncomfortable with change but I don't I don't feel like you're very uncomfortable with change um, Maybe a little bit, but you've learned to deal with it. And I think you're more so just excited for the changes that are coming in your life, which is really nice. I just think um, it's being highlighted here with the changes in your life. I think you're being asked this coming week with all this happening, with all this change and excitement to um, really ground yourself. With all this um, up-in-the-air energy, you may get a little not not flighty but you may just need to ground with it to remain calm and feeling peaceful so you grounding is really being highlighted for you along with just connecting with the earth which is a great way of grounding like if you go outside barefoot or you just sit in nature and listen to it go on hikes that's a really great way of grounding and i'm getting called to say this 
um, this feels kind of random with the overall message, but I'm, I'm feeling called to say it. If this is like a slight romantic situation with this King of Cups, um, you know, I'm seeing perhaps if that is the case, maybe, maybe you've been feeling like you want to leave that situation. Like, not like necessarily bad things happened, it's just, you know, you want different things in your life and you're ready for change and to embrace all the opportunities life has and you're really being told to just not, don't lower your standards, know what you're worth, you know. That, that feels kind of random, but this is the only pile I've gotten some, like, romantic energy from, just slightly. And with Imagine, I'm going to read from the booklet for you guys for this one, because I want to see how it connects with everything else I'm getting. A lot of change happening for you guys. Exciting change, though. Let's see here. Okay, the essential meanings are turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visual visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. Okay, one thing that just came up, maybe with all this change, it could be possible that you might get in your head a little bit and become a little too daydreamy, um, and that is, could be why grounding could be very important if that is something that you can be susceptible to. The Oracle's message is, who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in in order to have the life you want? You're gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspiration and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat, what you imagine will become your belief, and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. So that, yeah, I feel like there's just been a lot of energy with all three groups where there's a lot of change and, you know, what do you want with your life? Genuinely, what do you want? Because I feel like this was the same with Pile 2. Um... You know, you have all the freedom to decide what you want to do. And that can be kind of intimidating, though I see that you're very excited for this, I believe. And, but it can also be confusing because you're kind of like, well, then what do I really want? Because I can go after so many different things and ways of life and life paths. And it's kind of, so I think you're being asked to really ground yourself and reconnect with what you're passionate about in life and what you want your life to look like. And I think you already have an idea of what that is, but in order to reach it, you do need to leave behind your current, your current way of living. And, you know, it may be a little bittersweet, but I always see the Six of Swords as a really nice card. Like, it's kind of bittersweet, but it's also like, Moving to calmer waters, leaving behind what no longer serves you to new, exciting adventures where, you know, you're going to be happy. So, yeah, expect powerful change this week, I guess, guys. And make sure you ground, because I think with all this big energy you may can get a little wrapped up in it and perhaps with February maybe all of this will this change maybe you'll start seeing everything that you've imagined of what your life you know what your you want your life to look like by February which would be like in six months which is crazy so I'm going to read from the Green Witch Oracle booklet for you guys for grounding because they also have little spells um, if that's something you're interested in doing, that could be helpful. So the oracle meanings are, explore the deeper innermost areas of yourself and situations. As potato indicates energies that are calling you to look again at what you may have once minced, uh, sorry, missed, and it will help to bring stability. If you're looking for an answer, try pulling back a little to let things settle on their own first. Challenges at the moment may include ignorance, 
self-centeredness and forgetfulness. So make sure you are compassionate and focused. Grounding spells. If you're feeling ungrounded, this little dance ritual may help. Place four potatoes on the ground, preferably an outside in a circle around you, with one at each compass point. Dance, skip, or hop in any way you like around the potatoes while firmly planting your feet next to each potato. Take the potatoes inside, cook according to your favorite recipe, and then eat. <laughs> I like that spell, that's kind of funny. Okay, pile three. This was a nice reading. You guys have a lot of energy and change in this upcoming week. Um, and I really don't think you're very um, scared of it. Just remember, don't lower your standards. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Really sit and think about what you want in life. And don't be afraid to leave behind what you're comfortable with to go after what you want. And with all this change happening, remember to ground. Connecting with Earth may help quite a bit in regards to that. So go on walks, walk around barefoot <laughs> to this potato ritual. Um, whatever it is that helps you be grounded so that you can stay focused. And um, so this transition, this change can, be, can go smoothly. And if you need help, um, find an emotionally mature person, older person in your life who may be able to help you in regards to this change and just some overall life advice. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you guys next time. Bye!